painting finally. So the file uh, that you've been provided is set up like this. If you look over in the layers palette, uh, there's a white background, the photo reference which is locked, uh, there's a layer called practice and a layer called color. So make sure you're on the practice layer first. Now this is unconventional. Um, the way I did this is just for it, it works, but it, it, it's a little bit weird. Okay, what I did was I made a selection for the pair, which will help you define the shape of this thing. So, first of all, um, let's go to Select, Load Selection, and then in Channel, <clears throat> hit the drop down menu, choose Pair. Took me a long time to figure out a name for that one. Click OK, and then you'll get the marching ants. The selection will appear here. Okay, so uh, we're going to paint within here. Now that we did that, let's save our file in, into a known location. Go File, Save As. You know the drill on this one, folks. But what I want you to remember is um, I want you to stick to the naming convention. I got many, many students in different classes, and this really helps me out a lot. So put your full name in there and save it. Saving it in the known location, of course. Okay, so first of all, let's um, remembering what we talked about in the previous video about this stuff, right? Like where the light is and everything, the reflected light, blah, blah, blah. Let's practice this first in black and white with our, our brush. So come over to the color picker and hit the um, default colors with black in the foreground. Like I said in the intro video, the brush I'm using is this um, pastel medium tip. And just let me make a blob of it here. So let me crank up the opacity and flow all the way here. That's what the brush looks like that I'm going to be using. If you have something, I'm going to delete them. Just bit. If you have something similar or you have you know, a different brush you prefer, that's OK. Now, again, as I said in the intro video, I'm using a mouse and not a stylus for this. So I have to use some unconventional techniques. As a reminder, I'm using a mouse because not every person has a stylus. If you have a stylus, which is pressure sensitive, yes, by all means, use it. No problem. But uh, follow along with me, though. First of all, make sure you're on the practice. This is B and W, black and white. Practice layer first, OK? black in the foreground. Um, I have to, in order to get like a layering effect, I have to crank down my opacity and you should do, if you're using a, a mouse, do the same. Crank down the opacity to about 25 percent and I'm gonna crank down the flow maybe about 20, and I, I'm gonna have to like change this, I know, because I, I, I'll never get it right the first time, but so I got my opacity at 25, my flow at 19. I'm going to give it the old college try over here. So I got the marching ants going on. Make sure you're on the right layer. That's critical. <laughs> if you paint, if you, like you spend two hours painting on the wrong layer, you will cry. Okay, so let's see, my brush is at 90 right now, 90 pixels. So let's just see what happens here. I'm just using my. Uh, mouse and I'm stroking. You folks with a stylus, your life might be a lot easier than mine. Uh, this uh, Painting with a brush is not, or pardon me, uh, painting with a uh, mouse is not impossible, but because we're, we kind of, most of us grew up, not, not me, I'm really old, but a lot of people that were a lot of you folks have grown up using a mouse, you know, from the age of four or five or whatever, so it won't feel alien to you. However, sometimes a stylus works better if it's in your budget. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, what I'm carefully working in, and I want you to do this too in black and white, and don't roll your eyes heavenward and say, you know, I only have so many hours in a week, 
I don't have time to be messing around with a practice. You have to practice this. So I'm, notice I increased my brush to 175 here so I can like cover some larger areas. So here's what I'm thinking as I'm doing this. I'm thinking of this, there's this like curvy banana shape here. That's the darkest area. I don't want to overwork it. I want to like have some kind of, well it's not, it's one of the darkest areas, okay? So like I'm defining a sphere, a large sphere and a little sphere. The, um, to get a really dark, dark, decrease the size of your brush. So I got to decrease the 35 pixels. And I know that down here, and again, I got the opacity down to 25%. So I, that allows me to layer things over like this. Okay, so there's a method to the madness. This is compensating for um, not using a stylus. So like I'm, I can layer and get these nice little effects here. To get the, I mean, I'm hit, hitting the bracket key. Um, the bracket key next to the letter P on your keyboard will make the brush smaller. The bracket key next to the <clears throat> forward slash, the close bracket will make the brush larger. So I'm gonna constantly change the size of my brush and I'm just gonna carefully layer stuff in and not kill it, you know what I mean? I don't wanna I don't want to overdo it. And I want to maintain the highlight here, and I want to maintain the highlight here. And I'm going to use, notice I'm using just the edge of my brush around the edges here. And as you can see, hopefully, um, this is starting to take on a form. Now the reason why this is taking on a form, the desired form that I want, because I'm going very carefully and I'm going layering stuff in, but most like is the the watchword is careful, I suppose. Um, but the the main thing to it, getting this down successfully is being aware of where the heck your light and shadow is. Okay, my light is coming this way, so I'm going to maintain this highlight. The, the what defines this form is this reflected light along the back edge here away from the light source so I'm going to main, keep that the other thing that defines the form is knowing that this is like a, basically a spherical shape and there's going to be like this area of darkness in here so what I'm going to do is be quiet and I'm just going to paint and then I'm going to speed up the video so the I'm going to go into speed painting mode here in a second, so off we go. Okay, I'm gonna come back to reality here um, and out of speed painting mode. Uh, one thing I okay, that, that looks pretty good actually. You know, um, it turned out better than I expected. But if I wanted to like make some refinements, I could come over to my color picker and uh, just use the same brush and use white. And like I I kind of darkened this a little bit too much, so I'm gonna like add some white there. But I don't know. It's let me, let me go back to black. For for this, I think that's looking pretty cool. All right. So what I want you to do is take your time, be patient with yourself, and I I know that everybody has a life and you have a lot of demands on your time, but take your time to like get this worked in. Um, in black and white because it'll really 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 help you understand what the heck you're doing so um, in fact I, I'm just like this should be more defined up here this looks really blobby 
up here I would like fix that but the, the basic shape looks cool so anyway um, get this if you know if you if you if you painted something you don't like delete it or go to a new layer and do it again okay don't be satisfied with your first attempt your first attempt is gonna look not good that's okay it's not you're not that's not that's normal okay so like this is get this black and white image down okay so to something you're happy with and maintain this uh, reflected light here and I'm already letting this video go on way way too long so I'm gonna end it here do that get something that you similar to what you see on my screen here if you don't if your pair looks really weird and wonky delete it do it again and then if it still looks weird delete it and do it again okay so just just try to just work with this and see if you can get the basic shape in black and white before you proceed